Seventh-day Adventism, but church, some of what they believe is downright shameful. You see, I had a girlfriend once, and I guess she really did like me, because she decided to ask her mother about my church. Her mother looked up Adventism on the internet, and it said that I belong to a cult. Now church, this is not good, and it has got to stop now. It has, it has got to stop. Yeah. We have to tell people the truth about God's commandments, His remnant message, the Sabbath day, and the blessed hope, and we have got to tell them in love right now. Amen. Because God needs ages of hope right now. Now, I heard that Nelson Mandela was asked about the Adventist church. And he asks, he says, oh, it, it, is that the church that is half black and half white? <laughs> now, church, is, is God's church half black and half white? No, sir. Is it half Jew and half Gentile? No, sir. Is it half Jamaican and then everybody else? <laughs> now, now read, read in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28. Read in Galatians chapter 3, verse 28, if you don't believe that the remnant have only one color, it is the color of blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. And we, by God's power, have got to set the record straight and bring the real and lively hope to the world. And we have got to do it now. Amen? Amen. We have got to get past our lack of passion for the remnant message because... Satan is spreading hope, false hope as well. You see, according to news.com and the Los Angeles Times.com, and please check your own sources, it says some new schools in California will be teaching students courses with methods from Scientology. Now, in case you don't know, Scientology is a new religion that is taking Hollywood by storm. Now, you see, there is no lack of false hope and false religion in the world today. So we must wake up and share the hope of all ages, and we must share it with Philadelphia, with Havertown, and with all of Pennsylvania, and with the entire world right now. Because God needs ages of hope right now. So church, we do have the true and the lively hope. We have the entire hope. We now need to reaffirm our faith, dig deep, we commit ourselves to God's commandments, his command to replicate, and his love. And we need to get excited about the idea that the world will gain everything from the hope that we have to share. All right, so church, the bottom line is that the Lord needs us to replicate and be agents of hope. You see, the edification of the body of Christ is only part of our replication. We come to church Sabbath after Sabbath to be edified and to be disciplined, to have the teachings of God delivered, reiterated, and reinforced through the spoken word and through fellowship. And this is good. But church, I believe today that we are to receive power from God to share the gospel and to finish his work. I do love coming to church, but don't you want to go home to heaven? Yes. I have been told that Pennsylvania has one of the lowest numbers of Adventists per capita in the world. How many pastors and Bible workers are there in Pennsylvania to reach over 2.5 million people just in Philadelphia with the gospel effectively? They cannot get it done, church. The Lord needs us to replicate and be agents of hope right now. Jesus speaks to us all in Luke chapter 10, verse 2. Luke chapter 10, verse 2 says, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Yes, sir. And by God's grace, we can do it, for many of us have been sharpened with iron. Many of us have been purged with fire. And many of us have already endured such great emotional and mental pain that we are anxious. We are very anxious to fly away like butterflies and be changed. Amen. 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 Church, I have good news today 
I want you to know that our sufferings are not to be in vain and that we are in, and that there is a good reason for our tribulations. Romans chapter 5 verse 3 says, Romans chapter 5 verse 3 says, not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, Amen. perseverance character, yes. and character hope, yes. hope church. And hope does not disappoint us. Because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. Hallelujah, church. Amen. Amen. We are ready. And we will not be disappointed, for God has written in Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. Romans chapter 8, verse 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Amen. Praise God. So each one of us who has been afflicted for Christ's sake is able to move towards being more effective agents of hope for the Lord right now. Are you ready? I am ready. We all need to get ready. We all need to be willing. You see, Peter loved the Lord. Peter did love the Lord. He did love the Lord. He was willing to kill for him and to leave his family for him. But would he love his enemies for God? Wow. Would Peter visit the sick for God? Would Peter reach out to a world of evil and indifferent people for God? You see, not everyone in Havertown will welcome us with a smile when we knock on their doors or give them a step to Christ. But would Peter put humility and love before his worldly ambitions? Would he feed God's sheep with the hope of eternal life? Would he lose his life for Christ's sake? Would he become a replica of Christ and teach others to do the same thing? So God is asking us a simple question in John chapter 21 and verse 15. It says, when they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, do you love me more than these? <laughs> yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of Jonas, do you truly love me? He answered, he said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time, he said to him, Simon, son of Jonas, do you love me? Now Peter was grieved because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Now church, Jesus has given his perfect life for us. And he asked us simply, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? So church, we must feed his sheep today. Amen. 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 Hope. Yes. Christians are losing hope. So do you see how critical 